Hello and welcome to this weekly Bible reflection and meditation. It is in our nature to seek happiness, peace, and contentment in this life. Whether in the form of a foolproof weight loss plan, a new pharmaceutical, exercise regime, or get-rich-quick scheme, there are so many potential cures to our woes, but none that are the answer to all of life's difficulties. Jesus offers a command that is radical in its simplicity, yet, if fully understood and implemented, is the one answer we have been yearning for. Let's dive into today's reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. In our reading today, Jesus says the greatest commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. What strikes you from Jesus' words? Let's listen once more to these words of Jesus. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. What stuck out to you this time? Let's consider what loving God in this way means and what peace our love of God can give to us. Think of someone whom you love and respect greatly. What if this person asked you to do something that was very difficult, something that you did not want to do or experience? Would you do it? What if you knew that this person knew what was best for you? Our Heavenly Father is more deserving of our love and respect than any human. He absolutely knows what is best for us. And He loves us more than we could possibly imagine. When we pray, God either gives us what we ask for in our prayers or what we would have asked for if we knew what He knew. We may not understand why we personally, or the world at large, must face certain challenges, but we can trust that God works all for our spiritual good. How does this knowledge affect how you view your life? How might this change your relationship with God? Take a minute to consider this.
What might loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength look like? Also consider what receiving God's love with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength would look like. Once we rest content in a loving relationship with God, the second portion of Jesus' command follows naturally. From our love of God is born our love for our fellow humans. Before we can love our neighbor, however, we must learn to love ourselves well. Think about your internal monologue over the past couple of days. Would you be comfortable treating a dear friend the way you treat yourself? If not, what would loving and respecting yourself look like? How might this change your life? Finally, to whom are you being called to show God's love to this week? As we close this meditation, please pray with me. Thank you, God, that your love for us is the answer to all of our problems. Thank you that you are in control and want only the best for us. Help us to trust you completely with our lives. Help us to mirror your great love for us in our treatment of ourselves and our neighbors. Amen.